is Manchester, Kings of Nana. World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV. Divine prophetic dots for your day. Let us greetings, precious and wonderful people. Yeah, faith products are the physical substance that you use by faith, believing that God has placed his power. You obey God's prophetic instruction. When you obey God's prophetic instruction, always you get the best results. Supernatural results. Many testimonies have been shared about our faith product. People have been raised from the dead. Money has come into people, what we call miracle money. And people of the world have thought there is a setup. No, it is God's divine setup to help his people. In today's daily thought, I'm going to show you something very, very, very important. In the case of a man who was blind, God provided a faith remedy through the mud and the water from the pool of Salom. The practice of God does not depend on what is medically proven as a solution. God has his own solution in providing what is a remedy for your solution. John chapter 9 verse 6. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and he made a clay of this particle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Salom, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came see. Can you imagine? Contradict all human logic. But the last thing you can put on the eyes is the man. But God thought the solution is what a human will not think will be a solution. This is what we call prophetic instruction or divine act of God. In Mark chapter 8 verse 23, And he, that is Jesus, took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spat on his eyes, he put his hand unto him, he asked him if he saw out. Now notice the man is blind. God spat on his eyes and then he lay hands on him and he doesn't say anything and then he moves his hands then he says do you see anything now I want you to notice he gave them power over all sickness and disease Luke and Matthew they don't describe but in Mark we get a description how people were here in chapter 6 verse 13 and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. So this is how they healed them. They healed the sick by applying physical substance, oil. In the book of James, the Bible says, Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Now notice that they healed them by what? Anointing them with oil. That's what we do, even in our prophetic consultation. Sometimes I have seen many people, I just pray faith oil. I don't know what's got into the church today. Why are they criticizing physical substance? Even in the New Testament, we see apostles using physical substance to heal. Acts 5 verse 15, 16. It's so much that they brought forth the sick into the street and laid them on the beds and coaches at the least the shadows of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. They came also a multitude out of the cities around about unto Jerusalem, bringing their sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirit, and they were heal every one of them. Now, I want you to notice what happened here. There is so much anointing. People doesn't understand. When God anoints you, he takes your name, he takes your hands, he takes your clothes, he takes your house, he takes your car. We have testimony people who have been healed by my car. Somebody just went under my car. People by seeing my car passing, people by thinking about me, they get healed. By dreaming me, they get healed and get direction. God can use any physical thing to heal people. Here, the shadow of Peter. If those days they were using camera like we're using camera, the picture of Peter was going to heal. We know many people who have been healed through my pictures. In some of my, my churches, in some places I've never been, they just 
place my picture in front of the person and the demon scream out of the person. I don't care how much you argue about that. Where is the verse about that? Here is a verse in the book of Acts um, chapter 19, verse 11 and 12. He says, And God wrought special miracle by the hands of Paul. Hands represent the act, the action, the mission, what you do. In many cases, people will say, this is a work of my hands. Not necessarily that your hands was directly involved. And God wrote special miracle by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs, apron, and diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. The case is close. You remember when Paul cast out the spirit on the girl, and some people were trying to do that. Demon said, we know Paul, we know that Jesus he preached but we don't know you. Jesus said to his disciple, be happy that your name are written in heaven. You are known in the spirit realm. That's why when you say Nala, demons scream out of people. It's a proven thing. The Bible says, if you receive a prophet in his name, you receive his reward. People don't know. The name of the prophet is powerful. When Jesus sent them out with his name, he was simply saying, I'm sending out in my mission, in my capacity, in my power. You will be there representing me. I am sent by Christ. I represent him. When I call his name, I represent him. Sometimes people under me, they call my name just like they call the name of Jesus Christ. And demons scream out. The same result we get. The point I'm making is, it is not about J-E-S-U-S. -S. It is about the person behind who has sent you to do something. Sometimes when these people go out, they know that there is a covenant. They know that I'm a prophet of God. What I send them to do, they go and represent me. By representing me, they represent Christ. I represent Christ. By representing Christ, I represent God. And the work will be done. Well, keep on living in the world of plenty and more than enough where nothing is missing and nothing is broken. Stay on top. Stay blessed. Stay plenteous. Is Manchester Kings of Nana World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV? Divine prophetic dots for your day.